Hey YouTube, today we're going to take a look at the new jigs up that I just picked up. First thing I'm going to show you, this is the original jigs up. Very nice, I liked it a lot. It was very helpful for Dean's connectors. It was sort of helpful for bullet connectors too. The only problem was is that this block of aluminum would suck up all the heat. So, I was looking online about a week ago and I saw the new jigs up. Here it is, the new improved. What they have added now is a heat resistant block that does not draw heat but can take quite a bit of heat and not ruin your soldering. Because what I was having with the old one is it would just draw too much heat and I wouldn't be able to heat up the bullet connectors like I would like. They also added a wire uh, solder so you, it comes with two uh, roach clips so that you can solder two wires together. Very nice. That's a very nice add-on. I'll show you. Let's take a look. So what you get in the box is you get two clips and your screw and the plate to hold it down. Alright, so let's take a look. There it is. Very nice. I'm very happy with this. I'm going to take a look at it right now. As you see, it's split right here. So this is your block of heat resistant. And then here's the two holes, which is for your clips. You should insert like this. So you see like that. Very nice. And then the basic, same thing as the other one, clamp. Very easy, same thing, pretty much. Very nice. So, we're going to take and try this one out today. Today we're going to be doing Dean's connectors. Put them in like this. Tighten down the clamp. And as you see, nothing. It doesn't fall out. Very stiff. This is also pretty heavy. It's got some weight behind it. So it holds down. When I drop it on the table and get ready to solder, I don't have to worry about it slipping all over the place. That was That's the one problem with like Dean's connectors and stuff. So, let's take a look. Let's drop this down a little bit for you guys to see a little better. Alright. And I'm using a Team Checkpoint soldering station. Very nice. Works very well. Definitely worth the money. Not too expensive. I've checked out a lot of other different soldering stations. And this one has done me very well. Haven't had any problems. Alright. Well, today I'm going to be soldering an airsoft battery. Very nice. I'm going to be getting rid of the... Uh, Mini Tamiya connectors. I hate them. Um, I personally like Dean's a lot more, a lot better. So, okay, first things first, got your side cutters. You're going to cut the connector off, like so. Like so. You don't want them to touch, so you go like that. And then there's a couple different ways. I have a couple different tools. I have these. I like these the most. These are my favorite. It grabs any size wire and strips them anywhere. You could strip them right in the middle if you want. I have another set. These are Ideal. These are made by the company Ideal. As you see, they have holes. And when you strip, it strips apart. These are very nice. I have a couple different ones. I have a set like this that you set to the gauge and you open it and you pull the, the wire through that hole those are okay and I have another set like these, these are very cheapy not the greatest so for today's project I'm going to be using these these are GB electrical very nice, these work out really well you grab the wire and you pull it and it strips a perfect strut so today we'll strip it just grab, you stick it in a little bit, 
And as you see, it was that easy. Pulled the strip very easy. No work necessary. I mean, that just makes a huge time savings. So we'll do the positive first. Always remember to slide the heat shrink tubing down. Don't forget about that. It's next to impossible to put on afterwards once you solder it. So we'll do that. Grab our soldering. I like Radio Shack solder. You know, there's many different brands. I have some Novak silver solder. Um, but personally, I like Radio Shack. It works really well. It has the flux built in. Alright, so let's take this. First things first, what I usually do is I tap a little solder on the end, like so, like that. That's the positive side, then I flip it, lay it on the side, and this is the negative. Just put a little bit on, and that's it. Makes contacting much easier. Next, what I do, take the positive. You could even use this. This will help hold it. Just take the wire in, like so. Put a little solder on it. Should go through very easily like that. Pull it off. And we'll do the positive. Very easy. Heat it up. Like so. You could give a little bit more solder. Very easy. Give it a little tug, make sure it's tight. As you see, very nice and tight. Alright, you could put you could wait a couple seconds, let it cool off a little bit, slide the heat shrink over. You can let that go. And next we'll do the negative. Grab my strippers again. Strip a little piece. Just grab it a little bit like that. Put some solder through this. Like so. Touch the deans. Like so. There you go. You give it a little tug nice and tight and you can see pretty easy not too hard slide the deans over or the heat shrink over not everybody has one of these you could use a lighter but I have a nice heat gun it's not very powerful but it gives more than enough heat to shrink this so I push it put it on and start shrinking see wasn't too bad came out very nice unscrew it now and there you go got your Dean's connector on my airsoft battery thanks hope you enjoyed make sure to pick up one of these if you don't already have one 
They are awesome. Best money spent. Especially for soldering. A lot of people hate soldering. I love soldering. Well, that's about it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Hope you've subscribed. More videos will come.